So I just got out of the card counter. Now, it is almost 1 a.m. and this is not my first time trying to record this either. So I'm gonna try to get my thoughts out there as much as I can, so bear with me. <laughs> but the card counter presented, written and directed by Paul Schrader and produced by Martin Scorsese. Oscar Isaac is in the uh, main role as William Tell and he's supported by Ty Sheridan and Tiffany Haddish, as well as Willem Dafoe. And Tiffany Haddish was surprising, I think, with the amount of depth and uh, comedic timing of lines and just the relationship that she, uh, her character was building with Oscar Isaac's character was really what a lot of this movie needed at times to uh, provide a lot of personality. Through the story and through character studies in general, you can feel a very slow burning, if not at least a little bit slow burning. And this very much follows that suit. It is very much not a thriller, I think, maybe as it was marketed as, but it is, it is a slow drama that really is looking to sear the audience's mind into the main character's mind, understand his motivations, his history without knowing his history and his thoughts and what his future could be by just predicting on who he is now. And throughout all of that, Tiffany Haddish brought a lot of light moments throughout the story that kept it all upbeat and to not be such a grand tragedy, but help introduce the redemption aspect as well too. Ty Sheridan's character, provided the same kind of uh, redemption uh, additive aspect to Oscar Isaac's main character where they both meet him. He feels a sense of reform and he feels a sense of duty that he wants to change and he wants to try something different. And so I think that they play perfectly into the cadence of the movie. And I don't think that it's skipped to be the stylistic um, shots and the music to the uh, score is just eerie when it is needs to be and is great and the shots that are just dazzling and confusing and all over the place and glitzy help provide a profound sense of realism into the own character's mind of confusion and chaos and turning around and so I think that while there are some shots that were um, seemingly long and unnecessary. Schrader is known for introducing a shot uh, a few seconds before the scene starts and then holding after characters leave to really help uh, ingrain the feeling and the emotion that was happening in that scene into the peripheral of the audience as they're trying to understand what's happening next. And so I think that Schrader comes again with his signature uh, style in this film it was a very slow burn and there were times where it was much more tedious through the middle and through the storytelling um i don't know if it got disinteresting at points because you were always interested in where oscar isaac's character would end up but the fact that it took so long to get there is what um could lose some people and what had me checking my watch throughout the movie too just to discover there was 20 minutes left and then it would and then it ramps up and immediately escalates where you need it to be and so i think this could have maybe shaved back a couple of minutes uh fleshed out maybe ty sheridan a little bit more tiffany haddish i think was a great uh entry as she was uh to kind of foil and supplement in the right way oscar isaac's character as well and so this is very much a solid signature staple entrance for Paul Schrader and his filmography. And so those are my quick thoughts. I hope most of that made sense. And uh, if you see this movie, let me know what you think of it and I'll catch you guys next time.